Hey guys, it's Joey Gaming, and welcome back to the Joey Gaming YouTube channel. Today, I'm in a great mood again because, you know, some new information came out about Call of Duty Cold War, alright? Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I'm pretty excited about this, guys. Like, if you didn't see my last video, I recommend you go watch it. I don't know, that video didn't do too well. It might be because of the custom font in it, and some people don't see the font they did see some black squares so I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna do this video or not but yeah so that's probably one of the reasons why this video didn't that video didn't do too well but if you guys can go check that out that will be amazing because I I reacted to the first trailer and also make sure you guys are subscribed to the Joey Gaming YouTube channel because only 92% of my viewers are actually subscribed to this video not video to this channel so I would completely love it if you guys would go and subscribe and plus I'm trying to get to 2k and I'm and I'm currently seven subscribers off of getting 2,000 subscribers. And I really want to get 2,000 subscribers, okay? So let's make that goal happen. But anyways, guys, I want to show you this trailer that Treyarch just released. And I want to give you guys my thoughts about it. So here it is. Can we take a minute to appreciate these graphics? Like, holy crap. These are some gr like, these, these, this is going to be a great looking game, honestly. I thought Modern Warfare 2019 was a great looking game, but now this game looks absolutely beautiful. Especially when it's going to be played on the next gen consoles, which is, which is going to be absolutely insane. I can't wait for this. I might actually, in fact, render this video into 4K. Uh, usually I just render this video into, into like 1080p, but I might actually render this, or might actually render this video into 4K, and just so you guys can see all the beautifulness, alright, you may, unless you're on a phone, and, and let's be honest, there's a good chance you're watching this on a phone, uh, leave a comment below if, uh, I'm wrong, and you're watching this on a different device, but, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna render this video into 4K, just to show off how beautiful this game is, so, yeah. Of course it's captured on the pl PlayStation 5. Activision needs to make that extra cash of Sony. Uh, for real though, I don't actually have a problem about them showing off gameplay through the PlayStation 5. Like honestly, the game's still gonna look good on like PC and Xbox, so I'm not that concerned. Um, is it a little annoying? Um, kinda, but I honestly don't care, so yeah. Threat neutralized. You're here because you're the best special forces NATO has to offer. You're all that keeps the world from turning to cinders, comrades. So what I'm getting is that the multiplayer is going to be fused with the story. Like, it's going to be tied with the story uh, of Black Ops Cold War, which is t totally fine. Modern Warfare did kind of the same thing with the Spec Ops, and... I mean, a little bit of Warzone. Well, not, I, I guess with a little bit of Warzone. I don't know. I don't keep. Uh, I don't keep tabs up on Warzone. I'm more of a multiplayer person than Warzone, than a Warzone person. But it looks like the story's gonna be kind of attached, which is pretty interesting. I don't really have a problem with that. There might be some people like, oh no, that means there's gonna be like missions and stuff, which is I don't honestly have a problem. Like if there's like exclusive missions where it's online only, then that'd be pretty cool. Uh, like I would honestly like to see how Treyarch would attempt to do this. Like, it kind of gives me vibes of Titanfall, because in Titanfall 1, um, it has a story, but all the missions are tied together in the multiplayer matches, which is pretty cool. So, I have to see what's going on with the uh, this game. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited to see what Treyarch is going to do. We work off the books. Operate in the shadows. To keep the wolves at bay. Today, we reshape the world. What the f*** are we doing in Miami? Okay, once again, this game is absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to see this video in 4K once I render this video into 4K. Uh, and, and I need to stop repeating myself, but that's totally fine. Um, we're, apparently, we're in Miami. I don't know what's going on, why we're in Ma Miami, alright? I am kind of have to agree with Woods. What the f*** are we doing in Miami? Um, I don't know why we're in Ma Miami, but it's, I'm pretty excited. 
I wonder if this is going to be like a ground war type of thing. Where ground war, but the ground war has a story to it. Like, like let's say that there's like a mission you have to do. Like there's a story in that you play with the multiplayer. And there's certain game modes you can choose. And it depends, alright? So you play multiplayer matches as normal. But there's like dialogue and stuff that will play. And it depends on how well your team does. If your team wins the game, then you get like a cutscene. And you progress to the next level. Um, and then if you lose, then that changes the ending of the story. And then at the end, you get like multiple endings, which will be pretty cool. But I'm not really sure if that's what they're exactly what they're going to do. So we'll, ju we'll just have to wait on this. Well, all I'm going to say is I'm pretty excited for what they're going to do here. Once again, I don't know what they're doing in Miami, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Let them come. Okay, are we gonna get like a water mission, like an water type of mish? No, not mission. Map where you have all these ships and you could like travel across between each other. I don't know how they're gonna do it. I don't know if you have to use a boat or fly a helicopter between the two. That'd be pretty cool. Like, there's each objective. Like, let's just assume that this is just like ground war. And it's just domination, type ground war, and there's like five objectives. Each object, each objective could be on a ship, all right. And you have to take each ship over. That would be pretty cool, honestly. I would love to see that. And plus, I really like the story too. Um, the Miami part, pretty, really pretty. I know I said that before, really pretty. But so far, kind of liking this multiplayer. I'm just hoping that we'll see like traditional multiplayer as well because I really like this stuff. I really do like in Ground War from Modern Warfare 2019. And I really like what they're doing here, but I hope that they have traditional multiplayer as well. But we're but we're gonna have to see for that. Go go go! Time to punch that time guard. Secure the sub. I'll take care of this. So, it looks like there's going to be, like, zip lines going across, which look pretty awesome, I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, it kind of explains how you're going to get around the ships. I kind of thought that, like, hey, how you, if this is a ground war map, how are you going to travel between the two, not two, between the ships? Are you going to fly, like, like, a, fly like a helicopter? Do you have to swim across? But, no, it looks like you can just take a zip line and apparently quick scope someone off of there, which is going to be amazing, which I can't wait for. And also, the guns look pretty awesome, too. So especially the shotgun part, and you blast that guy out of the way. Also, looks like the explosives are going to be really good in this game. And also, there's going to be a lot of vehicles, which is going to be fun to use. So, yeah, this is turning out great so far. Alright, first of all, that soundtrack, mm, absolutely beautiful. Glad to see sliding back in the game too, because I was worried that, hey, the back, the, uh, the, uh, grounds on the, the boots on the ground, the uh, can't speak, boots on the ground, I was worried that they're gonna have to, they, you have to do the dolphin dive stuff, and I don't really like the dolphin dives, I, I honestly kind of like the slide, and honestly, honestly kind of like the sliding mechanic in Modern Warfare 2019. You can't really slide down hills easily. I hope that you can slide down like do you see this hill? You can press that B button and slide down the hill and shotgun someone in the face. I would love to see that. So awesome. That's pretty awesome to see. And also death machine. Mwah. 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 You get to use a minigun on a on you get to use a death machine on a side of a helicopter. You go around the map and you light someone up like it's Nuketown. And also I hope not Nuketown's in this game. Because I'll be one happy little boy. Soviet convoy disabled. I'll drive. Big Papa kick the war run. That's 
how it goes. Snowmobiles and tanks. My gosh, there's gonna be a lot of there's gonna be a lot of vehicles that you can drive in this game, which is what I'm excited for. Also, that scene where the snowmobile goes over you and the guy has an MP5 and destroys them. That was awesome, by the way, because that was sweet, alright? And also the tanks. I can't wait to drive the tanks. I hope it's not the piece of crap like in Modern Warfare and they don't <clears throat> and aren't slow and don't have a weak cannon. I hope that they are really good and really powerful and I can blow stuff up and with one single shot because that would be sweet though because those I don't really like the tanks in Modern Warfare. I try to stay away from them as much. They're fun once in a while but I don't use them all the time. So I hope that those tanks will be fun to use in this game. Also, the, the, the RC car from BO1 and BO2 is coming back. I'm excited. And you can blow up tanks and stuff, which is, I'm pretty excited. I love that kill streak, even though I, I, it's kind of annoying to die to. But yeah, I love that one. That was fun to use back in the day. Keep pushing! Pre-order a digital copy and get early access to the open beta and instant access to the Woods Operator Pack in Modern Warfare and Warzone. So, I saw a helicopter. I don't know if that's going to be a kill streak or an actual vehicle you can get into, like in, like in Ground War. Like, you can get in, like, the tanks and Warthogs, not Warthogs, uh, like, the four-wheelers. I don't know if it's going to be like that, but that'd be pretty cool. Like, you can fly around, hel like, attack helicopters, and you can... Blow people up, all right. I know there's like kill streaks that can do that, but so that, that, you know what? That's probably like a kill streak. But this has been an awesome trailer. There's a little bit part left, and I think it's like zombies. I think it's zombies. I'm not really sure, but there's like a little bit more. So let's take a look at it. Bro, no way. No way! Even though that's like five seconds of zombie teasers, that was awesome. That no way! I'm excited for zombies. All right, I don't know. I actually kind of missed zombies because over the years, zombies that kind of died down. It, like the only last true good zombies was either Exo Zombies. And yes, if you're wondering, yes, I actually enjoyed that. And Black Ops and the one uh, Zombie Chronicles DLC for Black Ops 3. And then the rest were like, eh, not really good, uh, in my own opinion. Those zombies were not good. But I just hope that this was pretty good. The only complaint I have with this trailer is I haven't seen any normal, uh, modern, not modern warfare, any more no normal gameplay. Like, normal um, multiplayer gameplay where I can just play like a match and don't have to do this ground war stuff. I hope it's still in the game, but. You honestly don't know. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys, you guys go check out my uh, last video where I was excited for this game. This game's going to be amazing. It's going to be like Modern Warfare mixed with Black Ops. I can't wait. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See ya. Peace.